Rabbit Island has actually a sad beginning. It was a laboratory to create uh, gas to be used in war. So all kind of chemicals to hurt people during the war time. And the rabbits were used in those experiments to create those chemicals uh, for the war. And once the war finished, the rabbits were set free on this island. And that's how everything started with the rabbits. And it's really nice that um, it became something happy and positive in the end. And here we have the old buildings that are now ruined and surrounded by cherry flowers and access is forbidden but yes these were the laboratories where they were conducting experiments during the war time and so this is also part of those ancient buildings and here you can see already the cute bunnies <laughs> coming to get some food. Are you guys playing actually? <laughs> this also war remnant automatic switchboard room mark. And already I have a trail of bunnies. <laughs> Four bunnies expecting me to feed them. And so Roger here is introducing us his home. It just goes down the rabbit hole. Right, Roger? Can you show us how many rooms you have? If you noticed on my dress, luckily there are also cherry flowers. <laughs> I was so happy to find this. So now we can have all in one cherries and rabbits a Japanese design see all bunnies are kind of different and they enjoy cherry blossom yay <laughs> just like us here on rabbit island And a very quiet morning here on almost on the beach and this is a very beautiful cherry tree that will bloom gorgeously in few days I wish we could be back see how cute they are and here we have the remnants of an old shrine and Usually it's really rare to see something in decay like this one. It even has the signs like you should not cross in and it's totally falling apart. So it has so much, you know, feel of history to it because it's like on one hand this part, the past, the um, war, you know, and those Mm, chemical, war chemical creating feelings are really led to rot so they are not taking care of these anymore and visitors are not allowed to get close so we only have the other side, the rabbits the ocean and there are many such ruins on the island like see this where the poison gas was stored but we are not allowed to enter anyway, but the history is still there. And so here on Rabbit Island, by the port, actually you can hear the boat behind me. <laughs> uh, they have these huge cherry blossom trees. So it's going to be so fantastic in a few days. And yeah, I'm sorry that we won't be here, but yes, you can just imagine how the landscape will change even more, you know, to have this beauty here. 
and then this other one next to it, like pretty tall. And also the color of these cherries is really pink because what we saw in Tokyo they were a little bit whitewashed. So <laughs> I can't get enough of the cherry time. Especially in the sunlight and with the blue sky. More cherries, and yes, if you wondered, I only have bunny outfits for the bunny island because it's such a rare occasion to get the idea to wear stuff with bunnies on <laughs> and it's like why not it's such a pure adorable feeling because uh, you saw the, the rabbits how cute they are they are not pushy not dangerous so delicate like the cherry blossoms in a way and that's why I'm only wearing rabbits <laughs> Oh, wow, and this is also a huge cherry. I want to be back when they're gonna be in full bloom. So help us, the bunny rabbit god. And another wonderful day in our resort. This is the view from my room. <laughs> See the rabbits, the rabbits. 